it's not okay. Oh, I think we're live. Let me are double check. Yes, we are live there. No way. Oh, yeah. And we're back. Oh, yeah. I think, are we? Uh, we are almost there. Almost there. <laughs> uh, refresh one more time. Bear with me, internet. Internet. There we go. All set. Live? Live. Live. Ready to go. Got good Woo. sound. Good sound. Psycho for sake. Psycho for sake. Got good sound. Oh, yeah, so it's working. So, yeah. All right. We're there. All right. So. Well, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since we've seen you. I uh, hope you guys watched our intro video. If not, we are Psycho, Psycho for sake. Sake for sake. Uh, we are not professionals. We are not uh, experts on the subject of sake or anything japan or even no. uh you know the culture itself we Are. just happen to be uh very enthusiastic alcoholics that enjoy oh. psycho that enjoy sake <laughs> sake we are definitely enthusiasts <laughs> we're enthusiasts oh my goodness this guy so we have prepared a wonderful array here we have uh, taken care of everything and we're going to be enjoying them in different circumstances oh, i'm so excited let's let's just um Let's get down to it. Uh, so, uh, first, do you want to reveal what you've prepared for us to pair with this loveliness? Um, yeah, why not? So, we're going to start with the Gaikikan. Uh, actually, not the Gaikikan. We're starting with the Ozeki Sake, hot. And we've heated it up properly. Oop, I should have done this this way. It's okay. All right. It's working. Here's the and big reveal. What better? What better to start our first show with? Doing sake and a pairing food, tuna and avocado, baby. Oh yeah, freshly uh, caught tuna. Freshly caught tuna off the shores of Venice, Venice, Louisiana. If you didn't know that that was a place, a place uh, just southeast of New Orleans, about an hour and a half south. Uh, big huge hurricane just came through that whole oh, area. Oh man, jeez. Um, but uh, it down. still oh, is gosh. a still is a fruitful place for fishing. Wow, and, well let's uh, cheers to them. Let's cheers yeah. to them and try this while it's still hot. My and goodness. This is the Ozeki Sake. This is the Ozeki Sake, which you can usually find in your typical grocery stores, and we've heated it up properly, and we're enjoying it in our lovely little ceramic sake tank glasses. Cheers, my brother. Cheers to all of you. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's nice. So this is one of the drier sakes. It's I can, I can taste that sharp note at the very end of it. Mm -hmm. um, it it drops off. I would say. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it drops off. It just um, it kind of cuts short, and then leaves you with a, like a spicy lingering. The taste. warmth. Yeah. yeah the warmth. Well, the warmth comes from obviously. Well, of course. The temperature. Um, well, but Which, no, but but the, but the alcohol content I love because this is fourteen. I believe this is fourteen point five percent alcohol. Which yes. uh, the typical glass of wine is around ten to eleven. There mm. are glasses of wine that are around fourteen to sixteen as well. But definitely potent. You only need a few of these to, <laughs> to be feeling it. Only we're, a we're few. We're gonna be having a few. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have more than a few today. Yes, uh, you know it's our pilot show, uh, full show. We're gonna try to keep it to around ten. Maybe 15 minutes, depending on how many Hopefully. shots of sake we I take. Gosh, I hope. Uh, we, are, we are known for other uh, projects that myself and John have worked oh, on man. where we kind of roll off on a tangent uh, and get super sidetracked, but we're going to try very hard not to do that. So I'm going to bring it right back to where we started uh, about, your, um, about your comment on the warmth. Now, I remember my first time drinking sake that the extra warmth from the temperature made it seem even stronger than uh, it, it actually is. And it is strong, 14.5 in, in the Ozeki there, but yeah, the- I, I know what you're saying. But the added heat of the heating it up. temperature yeah. makes it taste like- It's got a- Whiskey. Yeah, it, it's it, it makes it taste strong. like Yeah, it makes it taste like- But without like, the burn. Like without room the burn. temperature vodka. You know? Yeah, except except it doesn't have that. It doesn't that, have that the burn, burn, but you. It doesn't have the burn, but it hits you in the face like it's gonna have the burn. It does. It yeah. ve a very pungent taste, a very strong and flavor. Cheers to our first one. Cheers, yeah. Mm. <sighs> so that was right. the Ozeke. Yeah. So let's have a bite of this. A couple of those. Let's try this out. What we got here? Ooh, lovely, very lovely, very good. Oh, gotta. 
got to put some of this absolutely. wasabi on there. You know yes, what I'm absolutely. saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, I can think back to every time in my life that I've ever um, been struggling or um, needed a, a time to reflect, but was also super freaking hungry, man. Yeah. You know, my uh, my local Japanese place, whether it be a buffet, whether it be a restaurant, whatever I favor at the time throughout my life, it's been just such a comforting uh, environment. And, and these these libations and, and sushi and avocado just as a place in my heart and soul for this stuff. It's comfort food for absolutely. you. Absolutely. It's fully it comfort food for Absolutely you. comfort food. I can completely sympathize. I thank my, I thank my dad for showing me the, the wonders of of eating raw fish the way fish in my opinion really should be eaten if it is a quality fish because the way the you, pirates ate it the way the pirates ate it the way the fishermen eat it and yeah. it's just the essence of of the beast <laughs> truly essence True of the that. beast and to that let's 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 pour let's pour into unfortunately we're, we're not uh we're not doing this cleanly uh, we, we should be washing out, you know, and, and trying this. Oh, we don't have time for all natural. that. <laughs> we don't have time for all that shenanigans and stuff like that. But uh, here we have, uh, we've heated in our decanter. The, one of the best ways to heat sake is by wrapping the decanter. Make sure it's a ceramic made for sake decanter and wrapping it in a saran wrap and putting it in a uh, hot pot full of water that has been boiling. But make sure that the burner is off and make sure you don't ever put a glass bottle in a pot to heat it up it's not good don't do it, it it'll boil over it'll shatter it potentially it's not good just don't do, do that. you start the boil before you put the decanter yes. in? yes yeah you want to make sure the water's been boiled mm. and hot to that level before you ever stick the decanter in there Understand. and make sure you turn off that that temperature make sure that the, the burner is completely turned off and shut off before you put the decanter into the hot water to heat it up absolutely john i totally Boom. uh i totally Dig you uh, saying all that, keeping people safe out there. Yeah, got uh, got to want... got to stay safe. That's a safety first, then teamwork. Yes, that's the key. Yeah, um, are we doing? Are you trying to wait for me? I'm waiting for you, I brother. Because I want I want to pair it. these right now. I know. Let's this is... do it. I'm trying. <laughs> my, my my chopstick work is off point. Oh, I'm ready now. Oh, all I'm right. ready. For, I'm ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Da na na. Cheers, Cheers, my brother. I love you. We gonna rock this sushi. That is beautiful. Ooh! Hot. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's good. That's good. Did you try it with the sake? No, Come I'm on, gonna, my friend. I'm gonna, Come I'm on. Still, I have it in there. So. Mm. And so we have the gaikikan, the traditional sake that you usually find in your uh, hibachi places, your sushi uh, buffets, or sushi restaurants, even Thai restaurants, what have you. We want to know. We've only got a couple uh, watchers right now, followers uh, of the show right now, but we want to know has anyone tried? The Gaiki Khan. The, or the Ozeki uh, Saki. The Ozeki Saki. Or what's coming up next, my favorite. Well, we'll Nigori. save that. We'll save I know, that. we'll save we'll it. Save we'll that. save it. Save it. Save it. Have some more sushi, Dude, my friend. Dude, I'm going in. I'm yes. going in Go and we're, we're going to continue. Because mm. we got more we got more, more sake to have. Because we also got to try we also got to try this sake, you know, properly with uh, when it's just room temperature. Because I think, I think we really need to understand the palate, Brandon. You know, if you guys weren't around right now, uh, we would just be sitting in silence eating sushi and going, mmm. Mm, the nom, whole time. Nom, nom, Yeah, so uh, you guys are keeping us talking out here. We appreciate y'all so much, and we hope y'all find your own That's gonna be sake and sushi shenanigans. Frickin' bite. Spicy. Mm. Wow. I'm impressed. There are very few things that make me instantly happy in this world. Very few things that make me instantly happy. I am very melancholy of my reaction to a lot of things in life. Sushi is not one of them. Yeah. Sushi immediately puts me in a fantastic mode. Fantastic! This is really delicious, I gotta say. And it's pairing really nicely <sighs> with the Gaikikun. Because the, the one thing is, even if you go inexpensive with <clears throat> sake, it's still a rice wine. It, it breaks down in your system a lot differently than other alcoholic beverages. And it doesn't have all the fillers that uh, a lot of alcoholic beverages, including wines, including the best wines, have. Which is one reason why it's 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 a clean way of drinking. Clean way, yes. And it's an ancient way. And it's gluten-free. Totally ancient, though, and I love that. I love the history. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish gluten-free was ancient history, but 
Speaking of ancient history, oh. this, um, I have a disgusting fact for you, actually. Well, no, don't tell me a disgusting fact. I have to tell this. you a, disgu oh, a disgusting fact. Listen. Okay. Uh, la, la, well, la, la, I'm going to explain it to la, our, our la, guests, la, our audience right now. La, la, so, la, 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 one of the origins of sake, and I learned this today because I did a little bit of research because I wanted to have something to talk about. One of the... Oh, it's an origin of sake? One of the origins of sake. Oh, okay. I think is, I know where this is going. Is a uh, tradition uh, and method called um, kuchikama sake. Mm -hmm. And what that means is mouth, uh, uh, is spit mouth alcohol. And the way that sake was first made. Uh, it's funny the way you say that because then I find a bone. <laughs> There's a couple bones in it. Spit mouth. So the uh, original way uh, that garbage ancient Japanese um, makers used to make sake before they understood uh, fermenting fermentation process or um, certain cultures and biomes that would um, help in the fermenting of alcohol and of sake, rice, whatever. They uh, would sit in an area, they would sit in an area uh, in a house somewhere and normally as a village and they would chew um, they would chew fat rice, they would chew uh, like unfiltered rice and, uh, and starches together in their mouth and then spit out the saliva into a, into a spittoon style bucket. Why am I and listening to this? This is not where I thought this was going. <laughs> no, I told you it was going to be gross. Oh, God. And that Just fermentation me process, out of my comfort zone, that brother. fermentation process of their saliva and the oh, rice God. was the first recorded form of sake, of, of Japan's first experiments with and traditions with brewing alcohol how far we have come how far we have come <laughs> i think the the vikings actually did something similar uh as a medicinal treatment where uh, they would and i know this is gross guys so why are you going on this because i have because i i gotta have to it's 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 gross but it has it has more to do with um a herd immunity style style thing where people would all spit in the spittoon and then yeah, take I know. turns You're, yeah I'm, okay that's all i have to say okay for health so drink Jeez drink Louise, sake this guy whether it be ancient sake of days past or more preferably modern day sake drink to your health ladies and gentlemen drink to your health <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i wish i didn't listen to that <laughs> Took you on a journey there, John. Took you on a journey. Oh, and I want my money back. Uh, I am resisting so hard right now to have more of this Why? right now because I would like to get through Woo, to our next stop game, man. Uh, I have a powerful burning in my chest right now from these first two sakes, so I think uh, trying some cold sake would be the best. So, oh, I see. Well, may uh, I do we, the honors? We were gonna do the. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna try the Geiki Con and the Ozeki. I thought we had done the Geiki Con. No, but room temperature. Remember, we're gonna try it hot and room temperature. Room temperature works for me. Ah, yes. Someone said, uh, Stephen, for your health. Absolutely, my friend. Oh dear. Absolutely for your health. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Stephen Ferg, man. Appreciate you watching, man. Shout out, bud. Cheers. Mm. Mm. All right, let's get on it. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. So mm. now we've tried both the uh, the. Uh, Geiki can and the Ozeki and the Ozeki. So now let's try the hot. Ozeki room temperature. Room temperature, yes. This will put out my fire in my throat for sure. And that way you can taste the obvious difference that happens after you heat up sake, and then the tremendous difference when we go to the cold, unfiltered. Great. Great. Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right. Mm, refreshing, crisp. You know, at first, after all of that spiciness, after all that heat, it was almost water. It was just pure water right? at the first, a little bit, and then it's like, ah, I am A little, little bit of flavor. It comes, it comes from the back of the tongue. Oh, right? totally. Right? It goes down the tongue uh, as water, as H2O, <laughs> as high quality. H2O. H2O. Oh, dear. And then it comes back up the tongue. <laughs> oh, dear. What <laughs> a boy. As a, a little bit of a gift from the rice gods. I bet Dante likes sake. Dante, sake. Dante, sake. Dante, sake. So, obviously, you can taste here how 
the the flavor you were talking about before, how when you heat it up, it hits you in the face. Hits you right in the face. You don't really get that when you when no. you drink it room temperature. This is much more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it just goes right down. Right down. Right down. Mm. More, please. And and the thing about it is though is is this Ozeki sake. It is very good, but it's one of the drier sake, so it's it has the least amount of sweetness. And it's delicious. It has its place. It truly does. And it goes really well with this sushi. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, yes. All right. So now we're going back to the Gaikikan. This lovely large bottle that it'll probably take us a month to enjoy. But <laughs> no, probably a couple. You months. and me? You and me? No, we could. One round of Warzone. One night of Warzone. Oh, we, yeah, we could easily. Down this totally. <laughs> Absolutely. We just keep pouring like and water. pouring and pouring. Shout out to Warzone and uh, Call of Duty. I used to hate Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> but I, I, I've, I've grown accustomed to that show now. That is, I am digressing like crazy. I've got to have a bite of uh, sushi and avocado with this. Uh, with this you cold should. Sake. You yes. should. You should because Absolutely. it's almost a palate cleanser. Ah uh, yes. You know. uh, we do have some ginger too if you uh, are want to partake. We got lots of ginger right here, brother. Boom. Oh, right on, right on, right on. I'll put it right there, right there. Well, in that case. For your case, enjoyment, my for friend. My, for my face. For your face. And uh, so, please tell us what you think about the sake uh, that we're uh, portraying. I really want to try to cover as many different brands of sake as possible. Yeah, give us suggestions. Show, because. I feel like it's an unknown, an unknown realm for a lot of people. A lot of people focus on the hot sake, and and we're about to get to the bread and butter of this episode, in my opinion, because this is this is the the beginning. Yes. The the outside ripple, if you will, of the realm of sweet sakes mm. and sakes that are to be enjoyed. The sweet chilled. stuff. The sweet stuff. The in between. Yes. The in between. Oh, sweet my stuff. Goodness. Uh, we want to know also. Do you guys enjoy hot sake? Do you enjoy cold sake? Which which ways have you tried? Have you not enjoyed sake, sake before? And tell us not, why you don't like sake if you've tried it and you didn't like it. If you've not tried sake yet, this is the perfect timing. Um, yeah, enjoy the, sake with us. We're at the end of the pandemic. We're at the end of we can finally restrictions start. We for can, the pandemic. Yeah, we got to have gotta, a long way to go, but got to stay safe. Got to stay, stay safe. safe but, stay at home. But uh, a little but bit more. little little when we take care of ourselves, make sure that we're healthy and and. Have nice little. You could do this at home, you know. You can do Absolutely. this with your family. Yes. And just enjoy a little. We well, hope not your whole family, but we hope that you have a nice natural area like this to do oh, it in. Enjoy oh, enjoy nature with sake. That's enjoy what nature. sake is all about. Enjoy kitties. That's what wine's all about. Kitties. Oh, kitty. Oh, the preen. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> Whoa! Have, don't touch me. We have kitties. We have nature. We have fruit sushi, around sake. us. Avocados. Avocados growing right above our heads. We're eating some right now. Sorry, avocado tree. Okay, I'm Don't good. Don't take this personally. I'm good. No bombs above my head. We're no good. Bombs. <laughs> Just, boom. That oh, would, my oh, goodness. Oh, my God. That would be so great for production value. No, nope, no. I think we would have to quit right production there. Production value would be great. Or do nope. you think that would be the universe telling you you've got to quit? I think that's the avocado tree uh, <laughs> uh, retaliating against its fallen brother in here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, do this in pieces because it's falling all over the place for me. All right, mother. All right, my mother. <laughs> mother. All right, brother. Sorry, brother, mother. I've had some sake, so. Oh my uh, gosh, it's so good. Oh, the Geiki Gun. Here we go. Mm. Oh. But there, the Geiki Gun, even cold, well, room temperature, you can taste a little bit of the upfront alcohol body of it, but still, it's got, it's got a little bit, it's got so much more smoothness when it's not hot. This is the Geiki Gun? <sighs> Care what you say about Geiki Khan, and I got nothing to say. This is it's faithful. This is old faithful right here, bro. Old faithful. faithful, man. And you know how much this bottle is typically? Yeah, what is it like? It was like around ten dollars, eight to nine dollars, yeah, on average. So it's similar to the price of <clears throat> a low end bottle of wine, but twice as potent and a lot healthier for you because even in the cheaper realm of, of sake. Like like we've said before, and we just want to reiterate it, it's it's such a cleaner oh, so liquor clean. to drink, alcoholic beverage to drink, and um, and that's one of the If you're tired of rum and cokes, if you're tired of uh, whiskey shots, if you're tired, you're tired of, of over sweetened, fruity drinks from a menu at yeah. your local bar or restaurant, get you some sake. Um, 
get out to a any any Chinese fusion, Japanese fusion, American Thai fusion, fusion. Thai fusion places um, that have a selection of sake and give them a try. It's Heck worth it. Yeah. It's so worth it. Totally give I them a try. I got my mom into sake not only just a couple of years ago, and she preferred cold sake way more than warm sake. Oh, interesting. Absolutely. Did she try both? She did try both. I made her try both, but uh, because the um, the the chilled sake also had a flavor to it, an added flavor. Oh, I see. Like she it was, it was much like more enjoyed it. Yes, absolutely. Lychee nut or something. Lychee that, that's that's a popular yeah. one. Mm -hmm. We had apple crisp. I believe. Oh, that's good with the we apple. We should do that one. Okay. Sometime soon. What brand was it? Do you know? We should do apple sakatinis. Ooh, we could do that. <laughs> we could totally do that. <laughs> Bring it right back to fruity drinks. <laughs> Fruity, you know, they have their place. Yeah. They do have their place. Like like celebrations, holidays, mm. Tuesday nights. <laughs> Wednesday nights. It is it is Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm gonna vogue. Vogue. It's Wednesday. Vogue. I don't know. I had to do it. <laughs> it, it, it it came to me and it, there we go. Alright. Are you ready for the cold? I'm ready, man. Dude, this is this is this is one of my favorites right here. Mm. So I do want to talk about, um, you can't find a good selection of, of sakes. And this is another reason why I wanted to start this channel. Because I wanted to start the sake revolution. I want, I want, to inv I want sake to invade the grocery stores and the liquor stores around the country. Yes. Because you can't find a good selection of sake unless you go to a place like Total Wine. Or a place that has a even ABC Liquors doesn't have that large of a selection. They have no. some good ones, no, but not very large. And even Total Wine, not very large. Are you kidding me? We need more sake. It is very good. We need all of the sake. It's definitely available online most places. That's uh, a I, good point. I imagine that Total Wine has a bigger selection online as well. I wonder. Uh, but I understand yeah. the uh, apprehensiveness of trying something as such as a food or beverage. Uh, purchased online for the first time you know what I mean well of course so, yeah. of course yeah so you usually want the to, to get there hold the bottle absolutely read it check it out speaking of holding the bottle here we go hold that bottle up so show same, me that beautiful rice same, footage same brand as Ozeke uh, this is the Nigori cloudy sake so you hear all these different types of, I need of you to words. bring it in I need N you to show you, there's uh, Nigori there's Junmai there's yes. Junmai Daijinjo there's just Daijinjo there's all different types of sake uh, it's almost like the differences between single malts and blends, etc. And uh, they really take it seriously because there's water in here from sa Ooh, excuse me, <laughs> sacred areas in uh, in special bottles like Junmai Daijinjo. Mm. That being said, here we are. This is not as dry. This is if you turn around the bottle and see it there. It is they on the other side of the <laughs> spectrum. Well, it looks. Oh yeah, so you can like see. So you can see like there is. Yeah. Well, here, this is a perfect example. You can see right through this bottle. Yeah. You can almost see me behind there, uh, but that bottle you cannot see John behind. There is there is a cloudiness to that. And that's because it's got it's unfiltered. It has there's actual rice particles in there, and it adds a certain sweetness and adds a texture. Yes. That's uh, you just don't get anywhere else. So here we go. Add it to my cup. This is so much fun. I'm uh, I'm having a great time. Are you having a great time? I'm having the best time. <laughs> thank you for thank you for coming up with this idea, bro. I'm happy we could both <laughs> like have a powwow about this idea yeah. and actually enjoy this because I mean, bro, we've been enjoying sake bombs and sake together nigh as long as we've had a relationship as friends, bro. And uh, we've known each other since high school. It's going on. 15 years, my friend. 15 years. It's going on 16 years. John? Talk to me. All of that was genuine, and what? I appreciate it. Did I do but it wrong? You, you, you just gave me the greatest idea ever. Talk we need to, to be me. doing sake bombs on this channel almost immediately, if not in the next few minutes. Oh, we actually could do sake bombs. Yes, we could. Because we have beer. Do we save? Now, we have a. We have a I think that's decision. how we end. That's how we do end we, the episode. Do we end it on the on us doing sake bombs next time, or do we do them Ooh. now? I know. Let, I know. Let's check the comments boards. Does anyone Any, want to see us is do a sake bomb? Yeah, and if, anyone. if, if, if they want us, if to we see, get one person that says yes, 
We'll do it at the we end of the show. We will do a sake bomb at the end of the show. Otherwise, we'll and we will do it the episode, right way. Which we will do it the right with way. With choppy stickies. We will do psycho for sake, sake bomb. Yeah, and I think... We psycho be, for sake bomb. We've even got, like, the proper... Yes! Like, like cups for it, too. Uh, we just need one person to tell us to do it. Otherwise, we're going to save it for next time. Yeah. Wow. That's exciting that you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, we shall I, wait. <laughs> We shall await uh, one faithful subscriber or watcher to do it. Do it, yeah! All right, All right Steve. All right. right. Will do, brother. Well, Steve has been our one faithful <laughs> follower for this entire journey of this. I'm getting louder because the sake is flowing. But, yes, we are going to do sake bombs. <laughs> so should I get Drop it? Drop the bombs, he says. I'm going to go. I'll go get it. I'll go get Wait. it. Wait. Okay. Oh, we gotta try this. What am I thinking? I'm getting ahead You're of getting my. getting ahead of ourselves. I'm getting ahead of my sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sake down. Sake down. Sake down. So we have a thing that's turned into a normal greeting for our, for us for as friends for a really long time, and it'd be wonderful if it caught fire because I think it's a great way to say. John, how's it going? Wasabi. Wasabi. From those classic Budweiser commercials, man. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good! A world of difference, bro. Like, like drinking sake in in a <laughs> suburb in America versus a a a round the world trip to a brewery oh in a in a dark room with a master brewer. That is the that is the uh, that is the contrast between these these sakes. Honestly, truly, yeah. I, 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 the imagery was wonderful there. Mm. Mm. How amazing is that? And if you want to know what it tastes like, it honestly tastes like. Oh my god! This honestly tastes to me very similar. Uh, if you were to close your eyes and imagine it, it would, it would, it would taste very similar to coconut milk and pineapple. Interesting, yeah. Coconut milk and pie, really, really like tame and mellow, yes. super ripe, yes. perfect. Perfect. Coconut and pineapple. Yes. That's a very, that makes a lot of sense. I'm just trying to give our audience a little bit of a reference. That's a good call. I wish we did that tried. for the other ones. We should have done that for the other ones. I'm not well, as Well, I think we did because that. we we discussed how like the hit of the warm sake hits That's you true. like. That's true. Uh, like even the coldest whiskey, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. Or the coldest, you know, the, the ice coldest scotch. Even though you're not supposed to drink oh, scotch super cold. Gosh, man, you just made me want some scotch really bad. Scotch Channel coming up next. <laughs> we are botched for scotch. Botched for scotch. <laughs> Dude, I literally got a little fly that's drunk off sake right now. Yeah, protein. He is wasted. Dude, he's like, mm, buzz, buzz, mm, buzz, 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 buzz. Like, I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. Speaking of proteins, um, I, w I should note that uh, when the sake. Oh, I want to try it with the freaking sushi. Please be my guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the sake is 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 unfiltered like this and has that, I want you guys to kind of see. There you there you go. You can kind of see that the, um, the milky whiteness. It's, yeah, it's almost like coconut milk. Uh, it looks even, like even deeper white yeah, than it, that. It could it, be it's more like almond this milk. This could be a uh, a, a, a but, but chill, not the flavor. Yeah, a, a cool pina colada type of deal. Oh yeah, very similar um, to that to, texture yeah. and flavor but, profile. Uh, my my I point like was is that uh, that. That opaqueness, that whiteness to it, is actually a lot more of the rice um, grain granule itself. You know, they don't polish it as much like they do with the rest of these clear uh, sakes. You know, they don't polish the rice uh, kernels, not the word, but they don't. Oh my God. They don't. Um, they don't <laughs> process it as much. It's it, this is much more. Uh, even though this is a kind of a stretch, a bit of an IPA of sakes. You know, it, it's unfiltered. Are you okay there, bud? That was amazing. I heard every word you said. Good. <laughs> but at the same time, that was one of the most delicious bites of sushi I've ever had in my life. Right now. I can say that because I've had a lot of sushi. I haven't had a lot of right fresh off the boat sushi. As right well off as the boat. having it really raw like this and, and, and no rice, no other accoutrement, oh. just the avocado with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then... And then with this sweet, what do you think? Oh, it's dessert. It turns a meal into a, uh, not just a necessity, but a treat. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. Uh, it's the same, it's the same uh, avocado and tuna, but with this, it makes it dessert, and it's the same thing. You know, if I was stranded on an island surrounded by uh, tropical, delicious fish and had a shipwreck of sake, I could just live <laughs> a forever. shipwreck of sake. <laughs> Dude, that should be a movie. Shipwreck of sake. Bro, that would be so funny, like, like almost like Castaway style, and this guy's like... Just loaded with fish all around. Where's and all then the sake a, gone? Dude, oh my gosh. Pirates of the Caribbean sake. I don't know. It doesn't work like that. but <laughs> It was you, worth the attempt. You ruined it. I can't help you but ruined it. it. I can't help but <laughs> it. It just happens naturally. You ruined it. <laughs> Especially when I've had too much sake. Mm. Or not enough. <laughs> all right, so we are rounding the end of our show. Oh my uh, gosh, yeah. Per what, your request. What? I oh don't yeah. Know. I, okay, I'll go get it. Per your request, guys. Um... Our boy Steve Ferg, per your request, man. Thank you for shouting out to us, letting us know we are going to do some sake bombs now. We're going to do them in the traditional sense. I'm going to move most of this stuff off of the table because it's going to get uh, it's going to get a little intense around here. So, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and put away the sushi. Ah, screw it. We'll leave the sushi. We'll leave the sushi. We'll just cover it up a little bit so it doesn't get doused. There we are. Oh, still a little bit left. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's going to get a little bit crazy around here. This is a uh, totally different way of drinking and enjoying sake. This is the... Uh, this is the party way. <laughs> um, John can tell you our first times uh, doing sake bombs was at this Yokohama. badass little college place next to FAU campus in Boca, actually off of Palmetto Parkway, oh, dude. Yokohama, and it was half price sushi. And if you bought a beer, if you bought two beers, you got a uh, you got a decanter of sake, hot sake with it. So that was perfect. We tell me we have enough hot sake in there. Oh, we need hot sake? We don't necessarily need hot sake. I, I was just going to do the Gaiki Khan. That's fine. Yeah, just room temp. Yep. Unfortunately, that's what we got to go with. That's fine. Not a big we, deal. we don't have enough prep. We're not Martha Stewart. That's all right. You brought extra stories. Uh, uh, chopsticks. Oh, chopsticks. Yeah, gotcha, clean gotcha. chopsticks, brother. My man, my man. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, so uh, if you've never seen this done before, this is a sake bomb. Um, if you... How, uh, many, how much are we doing? Pull, if you like to get fucked up then oh, you need to uh dude you went kind of all right you know i said it backwards if you like to get there if you like to get a little messy with your drinking this is the way to go uh this will get the party started so especially if you're staying home for the night so we're doing a full beer are we i don't know i just kept <laughs> john john you have uh, you have so forward. you have you have uh set your own doom my friend you have you will reap what you reap what you sow, my friend. I am not doing a full beer. Okay. Because I don't want to throw up on camera. Now you got to balance this so right. Now look. And we're using plastic cups because ceramic on glass is not a fun combination. Absolutely not. I'm gonna move this guy. Good call. Let me get it closer. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, again, uh, it's gonna get. Um, Messy. It's gonna get a little crazy. Make sure you got that bottle off there. Make sure you got that decanter off there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I remember the 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 best funniest thing about doing this at Yokohama was is because it was in, in the smack dab middle of college town, uh -huh. hidden away. Even if even though it was hidden away, every table in there was uneven. Every table shook shook because oh, everybody completely. did sake bombs. Oh yeah, they rattled those legs. On rattled those sure. legs on those tables. Napkins could not save it. Coasters could not save it. Oh, yeah, you're going to do it uh, yeah. the safe way. Exactly. Yeah, there's some process to here. You have to have a uh, <laughs> you have to have a bit of preparation and a little bit of finesse. Finesse is key in any championship or champion lifestyle. All right, so you got your sake. Sake. You got your chopsticks. Yeah, make sure you got it's balanced your, really good. You got your, uh, your cold beer. Now. We are going to do this lukewarm with sake, but try this also with hot, hot sake. sake. It's really Ooh. good like that. 
I've never tried a cold sock. You might need it. No, no, no. Don't touch. Okay. Don't touch. I'll let you do your thing. Don't touch. Don't touch me. I'm, I'm, gonna let I'm you ready. Do, hey, that's how it should be. All right. Safe. Social distancing. So, it is. We know what we're doing, right? Uh, Very simple. The, it's the name sig- of our show. The, 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 we're going to say it and then Psycho do it. Psycho Sake Bomb. Okay. Psycho for Sake Bomb. One, two, and then, and then, three. And, Psycho for Sake Bomb. One, two, three, and then hit it? No. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Psycho for Sake Bomb. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. I'm on All board. Right. Stack of bricks. Same page. Uh, yeah. All right, ready? Yes. One, One two, two, three. three. Psycho, Psycho for Sake, sake. Bomb. Be careful for the glass hitting your teeth. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, woo! Woo! That is the end of our show, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of our show. Big fireworks. Uh, Big waterworks. (laughs) Join us next time. John, high five. Great first pilot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for more more types of sake uh, from different places. More fun facts, because I'll look them up. Different ingredients. Different ingredients, different, different, different uh, a pairing. Uh, even if uh, it is the same, I don't care. We could do the same. I don't care. We do it the was same delicious. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Whatever we got. <laughs> Whatever we got. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Steve Ferg, you're the man. Th- thanks for sticking around with us. Woo! We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time. We are Y'all Psycho are awesome. for Sake. Psycho for Sake. <laughs> <laughs>